Okay, uh, chapter 13, number 11. So given we're going to do another weighted average cost of capital problem here. And, uh, given the following information for Huntington Power Company, we'll find the weighted average cost of capital, assume the company's tax rate is 21%. So the debt, there's 107, or sorry, 17,000.9% coupon bonds outstanding with a $2,000 par value and 20 years to maturity selling for 105% of par the bonds make some annual payments. So first thing to do is we're going to calculate the yield to maturity on the bonds. Uh, there's also 425,000 shares outstanding of stock selling at $67 per share and a beta of uh, 0.88. We'll use that along with the market risk premium and the risk free rate to calculate the cost of equity. So the pre-tax cost of debt. So we're just going to calculate the yield of maturity. So N is 20 times 2, that's some semi-annual, 40. PV is the price minus 105 payment is 100 times the coupon rate of 4.9% divided by 2. That's uh, 2.95. Future value is 100. Compute IY. That is 2.26. That's a minor rate, so multiply by 2 to annualize it and you get 4.52%. So the um, market value of debt is going to be 17000 times the 2,000, because each one of these is uh, worth $2,000 in face value, and then we multiply by the price, that would be 105% would be 1.05, and we get, that's 35.7 million. So, the, uh, uh, so cost of equity, So this would be R sub D, so R sub E. So we take the risk free rate, 3.5, plus the beta of 0.88, and multiply that by the market risk premium. Make sure, make sure you understand the difference between the, the market risk premium and the uh, expected return on the market. If you get the expected return on the market, you need to subtract the risk free rate. Uh, the uh, um, cost of equity, 9.66%. So the market value of equity is the, uh, we got our um, 425,000 shares. times the market price of 67. So that's uh, 28.475 million. The two of those added together, the, the market value of debt, market value of equity is 64.175 million. So our weighted average cost of capital yeah. Is um, so the market value of equity is twenty eight point four seven five. We divide that by the sixty four point one seven five, and the cost of equity is nine point six six percent.
plus the market value of debt, 35.7 million divided by 64.175. The, uh, uh, the pre-tax costs of debt is 4.52%. And we multiply that by one minus the tax rate, the uh, 21%. So one minus 0.21, multiply that out and add it up, you get 6.27%.